There's some people who, where it might, might, might not be a good idea to apply, might want to take a little caution in a sense like maybe you've been arrested before, maybe you have some kind of crime in the past. And so you want to make sure if that type of crime would disqualify you for a marriage pro in place. Um, so they don't have like a long list of crimes or anything. But what we'll do as an immigration attorney is we'll use our experience based on DACA and suspect that it will be very similar, okay? However, in addition to that, we're still going to review information, that, any information that USCIS shares with us. Okay, so earlier that email at 12-ish uh, Central Time was this right here. I know you can't really see it. I had to make it tiny. Uh, but the subject line was learn about keeping families together. If you're wondering if it was a scam email or not, that this one in particular is legit. I don't know if you received anything different. Um, we just received a comment earlier in the live show that said they think they received the email that says they're eligible. This email does not say if you're eligible. This is just a mass email for whoever signed up for emails from USCIS. Okay. So, but if you receive some other email that said you're eligible, don't click any of those links. Okay. Be careful who the sender is. Pay attention to that. Okay, so the question that everyone's been waiting for, uh, of course, like, is there a form available? Yes, there's finally a form. It is actually electronic. They're trying to be streamlined. Does that mean it's going to be faster? I hope so. But it's the 131F form. It's never existed before. They're so creative. I guess F for families? I guess so. We'll take it, okay? But um, in fact, it's not that many questions. It doesn't seem like. So that's a great thing. And I think that's going to help make it process a little faster. And also, here's some things they tell you not to do. They don't want you to apply too soon, which makes sense because they already have a start date. That's August 19th, 2024. So if you're wondering, like, does this filing for this marriage prone place, does it come with a work permit? That's the point of it. However, applying, filing the 131F is not the work permit application. In fact, the other thing they don't want you to do is don't file the 765 Employment Authorization document, aka the work permit. Don't file for that at the same time as this 131F. And the reason why is because it doesn't make sense to pay this extra fee for the work permit if potentially you don't get approved for the pro in place. It's going to save you some money. And plus, they don't want you to take up their workers' time if you're not eligible for the PIP. So take one step at a time, okay? Oh, the other common question we get is how much is it going to be? So for the 131F form, that government fee is $580, okay? Now, if you're wondering, like, you thought, uh, I thought this is going to be easy, John, but you need help. We're here to help you. We're here to provide you peace of mind because this is a pivotal situation so that you can possibly get residency in the future. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.